Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Thursday, uh, June 21st. Happy summer solstice. Now this is a reading for all signs. It may not even resonate with you, keep, keep in mind, okay? Because we're all at different levels. We have the Four of Swords reversed with the Hierophant. Somebody may be coming out of a period of exhaustion Regaining faith in themselves, believing in themselves after a downtime, starting to pick themselves back up. Maybe they've been seeking guidance and they've received some guidance, even if it's, it's inner guidance, okay? Here we have the Seven of Cups reversed. Somebody has been going through a period of, of confusion and I feel like now they've made a clear decision to set clear intentions. Okay, I, I, I've, I've decided that it's time for a revival here. It's time. And I've made the decision that it's time for me to follow my own path. We have the King of Wands. Somebody has regained focus and concentration. I'm going to take the lead. I am. I'm going to take the lead. I'm going to be the boss now. I'm the boss. I realize it. I realize that I'm the boss. I, I see how strong I am. I'm strong. I am. We have the high priestess reversed. Somebody, I think somebody went through a period of repression. Okay. They went through a period of repression, which actually served them. Because they had to come to, the, to, they had to gain the knowledge to rise above some sort of illusion that they were living in. So there may have been a, a period of repression to gain that knowledge. And now they're deciding to take action. It's like a newfound confidence here. A newfound... Um, a newfound spark. A newfound... A newfound... Um, focus. Somebody's made a clear decision to, to take steps, positive steps forward. I have decided, I've decided that I'm going to follow my own path now. I'm no longer live in this, going to live in this repressive state of mind. You have the Knight of Wands reversed. Knight of Wands underneath the Four of Swords. Somebody was not taking action because they needed to, to go within. They needed to take a time out. And that, but now they're moving on. Here we have the time out. Here we have moving on. Believing in myself again. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm moving on. I'm transitioning. Somebody has transitioned out of this period of recuperation that they were living in. You know, they had to go through that period of recuperation. And now I just want to be happy. I don't need to prove. I, they've come to the conclusion that I don't have to prove myself to anybody. So yeah, this period of repression has served you well because now you realize I don't have to prove myself to you. My path is my path and it's a beautiful path. And I'm not going to let the illusions in, of what you think and how you feel hold me back.
I believe that this was a somebody was trying to we have the wheel of fortune reversed and then we have the tower so I feel as though there was some sort of rude awakening that needed to happen to, to get that wheel moving again because somebody was stuck somebody was stuck in a repression they were stuck in their own head they were stuck in their thoughts they were stuck in an illusion and therefore there had to be some sort of lightning bolt epiphany to move them forward so I feel like today is the day where, you know, and this could be even happening today where you finally wake up, where you finally get that, that jolt because you've been stuck. Somebody has been stuck, not moving forward, going backwards. All of a sudden they get this jolt that wakes them up, that revives them and makes them make a decision to take the lead and be the boss of their own lives. So that could be happening today where they get this this big old awakening, you know, this that comes um, unexpectedly. And it feels that somebody has not been following their intuition, so that's why this jolt happens, okay? There is some sort of awakening that may push you to follow your intuition, which you've been avoiding, because somebody has been avoiding following their intuition with that high priestess reversed, and it's a, it's a faded thing. You, it's like fate. Whatever is happening, it is fate. It is with the destiny and tower right next to each other. You are meant to do something. You are. You're meant to do something, and you've been avoiding it, going against what you know deep down that you need to do. So I feel like this reading is kind of going this way. I feel like there's going to be a jolt. There's going to be a, an awakening that probably says, you know what, it's time. It's time for you to make this decision. It's time for you to set this clear intention. Or it's time for you to do what you know that you need to do that you've been avoiding. And since you haven't, and since you've been staying stuck, and you haven't been letting this new chapter start, I am going to push you. And that's the universe. The tower is a universe card. The universe it says, okay, I'm going to give you this rude awakening because you've been in denial. You've been trying to control destiny when in fact, really, I'm in control. Yes, you have a part in it. But you can't control the fate. I feel as though somebody is about to step outside of their illusions, perhaps because they're forced to do so. It's time to move on. It's a time of transition. There's been a lack of action, and that's why, if you see these two are mirroring each other, I know I didn't zoom this in, damn it. Sorry. Or focus it in. These two are mirroring each other, okay? The tower is mirroring the Knight of Wands reversed. The Knight of Wands reversed is no action is being taken. Therefore, there is going to be a jolt that forces you to take action and move on. It's no longer about proving yourself. It's about being happy. It's about following the path that you are destined to take, destined and fated to take, in which you haven't been following. You haven't been doing it. You haven't been being the boss of your own life. You haven't. Somebody's been trying to control. Somebody has been trying to control, clinging to control, And bringing bad luck, bad luck into their life 
because they weren't following their intuition. They weren't following the path. They weren't following the script. The written script, the, the high priestess is the written script. It's in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. And then we have the tower right here. There's a faded situation that somebody has been ignoring. And that's when the universe will step in and say, oh, no, 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 no. This is what you, this is what you signed up for. So I feel as though I feel as though somebody is now about to follow their own path, regain their concentration and their focus and make a solid decision to take action where they haven't been. No, they're going to have to take action because this tower, this this jolt is going to force you to take action in some arena. It is. We're going to get a couple more cards here. I'm not sure what I'm going to use. I think I'll use one of these. I feel like today is a day of of transitioning, transitioning towards your your written script in which you've been avoiding. Okay, it's, it is. It's, it's about heading in the direction that you are meant to head in after a lack of, of action. But I think this lack of action, this lack of uh, forward mo movement served you because you had to learn something. The Hierophant is a teacher. You had to learn something about yourself. You needed to learn, you know, what your path is meant to be. You know, you had to figure out where you're going, what you want to do, and what you want to commit yourself to. Okay? Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Somebody is in your life for a reason. And somebody best has been avoiding the connection. And it's bringing them bad luck. We're going to get an angel romance card too. Just see what comes up. Ooh, wedding. This situation involves marriage. Interesting. However, that resonates with you. You know, and it does. The Hierophant is, wants marriage. Or it is marriage. You know, it could be a priest. It's marriage. It's about marriage. So this could have to do with marriage. Could be any marriage. I mean, this wedding card, it doesn't have to be an absolute wedding. It's a connection. I think this has to do with a connection between two people in which somebody has been um, wanting to prove themselves instead of follow the plan. Interesting. Interesting. A child's love. The love between a parent and a child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our time on earth. Children start out as part of us, and from their first cries, they establish themselves as the biggest part of our hearts. You know, whenever I see this card, I think of abandonment. I think of abandonment issues. I do, instantly, instantly. So I feel like this, that somebody has abandonment issues that, or, that, are affecting, that are affecting their life. They're affecting their decisions. And, and, and it makes them want to prove themselves and causes confusion in regards to commitment for fear of abandonment. Because we have commitment. That's just what I think this is for, for these cards. But I feel as though 
today is a day of somebody getting some sort of rude awakening or jolt. that pushes them forward to take action, that gives them confidence and courage and strength to stop living in illusion and go after what makes them happy. So uh, this is what I have for today. I'm not going to get any more. I think there is somebody in your life that is in your life for a reason. Somebody has been trying to prove themselves and not follow their intuition. And perhaps today, this jolt pushes them to move. So this is what I have for today. I know it's kind of different. It seems like it's a kind of different reading. I'm not sure who this is for, but I know it's for somebody. Talk to you later.